Good morning. Good morning. I don't want to do car stuff today. I'm too scared, Helen. You see, I would, but it would cost, what was it, 100 more euros a day? No, it were only like 20 euros a day more. But... Yeah, it's not worth it, is it? Hello, everybody. Good morning. And this is where we've been parked for two days. We're going to leave Benidorm now. And we're heading to somewhere I can't pronounce. What's it called? I don't know. I'll flash it up on screen. Villa Hosa or somewhere. And we've booked a little sort of cottage thing. I've gone online and found it. Don't know what it's going to be like at all. But all we've got to do is just get there first. I've put it in sat nav and I'm just dreading it. Oh, look at this now. Oh gosh, look. This oh no. The bus. And then there's that. Big lorry with the wine on. Just let the bus go past. Oh, I'm boxed in by buses, Alan. Oh, stress. I don't know if I'm in the right lane or what. I'm just driving around Benidorm in first gear. <laughs> And we're on the front, we're staying. Right, we're Apparently here. Apparently we're here. Ah, you see, now what are you going to do? I don't know, we ain't got a sat now. Because now, you don't know where to park, do you? Did you mess it all up, P for parking? No. Did you message him? I, I don't know if he's replied yet. But we're staying in one of these. What's it called? It's, I don't know. As far as we can make out, it's free to park here, although whoever's parked that there needs a lesson in parking. Right, <laughs> I might straighten it up, because that's doing me a And you can't blame me. Yeah, of course. But it's just disconcerting with the red lines, isn't it? It's probably just the only colour they had left, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's what Spanish are like. <laughs> ah, they are, whatever. Just paint yeah, it red, do you know, it don't matter. When it's red for, in, for us, it's like... Yeah, it's just like, like, oh, red ooh. lines. Red lines. They normally have double red lines at like hospitals and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And anyway, we're... cheers, I'm, I'm on the Diet <laughs> What a beautiful day, we're just going to go and have a quick look at the sea here and then I'll come back and straighten the car out. The problem we've got, we've booked this sort of villa on the front overlooking the beach and the quick look there, it does look great. Where's the car key? They're in my pocket, but uh, we can't check in till three o'clock and it's like quite early. I've messaged I always use booking.com, I quite like their system and you can message people and they usually get straight back to you so I've messaged the guy because I just don't like leaving out cases in car uh, last time we were in Benidorm we met a couple and they'd had well all... we were in Alicante weren't oh, we? oh yeah and they'd had the car broke into and all the cases taken everything, passports, the lot so we're only oh, going yeah, on this oh yeah that's a good idea why don't we just take the passports out and I'll put them in my bag? Yeah. We could lose everything, but as long as passports got... would be a nightmare. Right, I'll just go in there. Is that a good idea? We weren't supposed to check in while three, but I've just had a phone call because I messaged uh, the chap that owns this apartment through booking and I messaged him saying, is this somewhere we can leave us bags? And he's just rung me. Sounds a nice guy. He says, the apartment's ready now. But I think we'll just leave the car here. There's no signs to say that we can't leave overnight or anything. There's no signs at all. We'll leave the car here and we'll drag his bags to the apartment and then we can spend the day wandering around via... <laughs> right, so this is our apartment in Villa Yohosa. Oh, look who's there. <laughs> Why is the only one seat there? I know, because you can't get to him. I know, is there another one somewhere? That's fine. Do you know what I've came onto this little balcony? Yeah. Is it going to hold is me it away? <laughs> it might not hold mine. So there we go. Round that corner, I think there's more restaurants. Fantastic. It's lovely, it's quiet. So this is the apartment. Now it is sort of basic, but wait till you see what I tell you, what we've paid for it. It's clean, it's very clean. Bathroom. That's 
the view out the bathroom window. It's a typical old Spanish apartment and then the bedroom's up here. Oh my god. It's gonna be fun up here when I've had a few drinks. It's got air conditioning. There's an iron. Has it got an iron as well? So, we're here for just one night. Gosh. They could be treacherous after a few they could. Beanos. Yeah. If you're not the most agile, if you're not a finely tuned athlete like me, you might struggle with all steps, because there's about three flights of steps, then there's stairs there. But, what do you think, Helen? I like it, yes. You like it? It's just a guy that owns it. I'll, I got it off booking.com, but I'll see if I can get his information and put a link in the description. Oh, look, we've got a dishwasher. A lovely guy, Ma Matteo owns it, and he just lives around here as well. Matteo. Matteo, sorry, Matteo. Matteo, Matteo. So, yeah. And how much have we paid? 46 quid for this, right on the beach. I think that's a bargain. All right, there's no breakfast, but... You know, we've just come out of the apartment. Straight onto the beach. Straight onto the beach. I want to show you the apartment. It's uh, that one. That way, Alan's knickers aren't bloody lying. <laughs> That's going to be the thumbnail. Helen's knickers on the. I can't believe it. That's ruined it. That's ruined footage. Look, there was a washing line and some pegs. I'm taking full advantage of the situation. It's not my fault you're incontinent though, isn't it? <laughs> right, we're going to have a Look, wonder. You've made me come with hand luggage. I know. Yeah, there's a washing machine in the place as well. Now, Billy Yahosa is famous for seafood, which really floats Helen's boat. And chocolate, and which chocolate, floats which your floats boat. My boat. And there's a place which he told us about where they do chocolate churros for breakfast. Yeah, that you dip into chocolate. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to have chocolate for breakfast now. Yeah. Anyway, wander across the front here. You've got Benidorm off in the distance. Yeah, we love it, but only in small doses. Yeah. I think that's the... I think we're doing that right this time, don't you? Mm. Because I absolutely love Benidorm. But... Yeah, to come somewhere like this where it's all peaceful is nice. Mm. It's like a contrast, isn't it? Yeah. We're just having a look at the boats on the harbour. We are, we're gonna we're choosing which one we we. I was saying, could you imagine if it were like us with van life, we'd be here with orphan boat. <laughs> That'd be ours, that number eleven there. <laughs> <laughs> and we'd we'll be saying to us friends, oh yeah, we've got a we've got a yacht, we've got a, we've got a boat at Mediterranean. I've got a dirty martini. A dirty martini. <laughs> You're doing that, and we've got to do a cheers. I've got a little chill. A latch off. <laughs> cheers, I need to do a cheers, bro. Cheers. cheers. Chin chin. Salud. Mm. Cheers, my darling. Salud. Salud. Mi bonita esposo. Okay. Yeah, one of them. <laughs> so, the waitress, we've just come to another bar further down and we're going to sit here probably all day now <laughs> and we're going to have some food in a bit so I wanted to ask the lady the waitress now she doesn't speak a word of English I wanted to ask her what time they served food until and I made a complete hash of it didn't I oh well but you know you tried I tried uh, what did I say comido to, to the, oh, I can't remember what I said so I, I look it up online and then I sort of tried to memorise it I just ended up showing it her intact. <laughs> you should have pressed the button. Do you know the, the one where it says it? It speaks it, yeah. yeah. I've done that loads at work. Do you know when uh, 
The silly old translators let me down. Yeah. Google translators saved my life. <laughs> so these buildings behind us, our apartment's there. So we're directly outside yeah. our apartment. With my smalls on the washing line. With Helen's knickers on the washing line. She's lowered the tone of the area. <laughs> what we'll do, I think a lot of people would like to come here. I oh, mean, I we've, we've not looked in the town yet. We'll have a look in the town tomorrow yeah. in the morning. But I might put the... I'll speak to the guy, because it's just a guy that owns this place, and I'll speak to him, and I'll see if he wants me to put his email address or something, you know, in the description, and then mm -hmm. people, if they want to stay in that apartment, they can contact him. I mean, it's, it's basic, it's basic yeah, but, but it's, it's OK. Yeah, you're not yeah. really in there, you're just sleeping no. there, aren't you? And it's got, a, a, like, a, one of those single tub washing machines. It's got, it's even got a dishwasher, it's got a microwave, cooker, it's got a nice fridge freezer. Yeah. Honestly, you've got to be able to walk up some steps though, yeah, and the steps, steps up to the, um, it's like a mezzanine, like, yeah. bedroom, flipping egg. If you I think abilities. if you've had a few vinos, vino, vino, well, vinos, you're a, you're a vino, aren't you? <laughs> if you've had a few vinos, they could become very precarious. Yeah. So that, yeah, if your mobility is not brilliant, then... Uh, and if your mobility is hampered by alcohol, then you've got to be careful. Which ours is going to be shortly. Pardon? Ours is going to be shortly, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. So we sat here, I'll show you now. I'll turn the camera around and we're looking at, you can see Peacock Island. And it's weird because we're 14 kilometres south of Benidorm, but Peacock Island actually looks closer here, doesn't it, than it, it does on the well, it, it might be. It might be. Don't matter. But I do like it here, it's lovely. I do. Yeah, the sure. vibe is so much more chill. It, it couldn't get any better. The temperature is absolutely perfect. Perfect. The view is beautiful. And uh, all it's lacking is some like cool jazz music. Yeah, we need... <laughs> do you know what we need? We need a man just there. Grand piano. Grand piano. Playing some jazz. And then we'd be good, wouldn't we? Jazz club. Yeah. That could have fetched me Bon Tempe. We need a grand piano there, and we need you to play it. Mm, I could have done that. Chopsticks. You're you, a bit better than that. <laughs> you'd have got tired of chopsticks after a bit. Please, somebody rescue me from this woman. Oh. Yo! She's had a few drinks, she's had a few vino tintos, and now she's practising Spanish on people on, that on are just... Passers -by. On passers-by. On passers-by, so we're just sat here, and a couple's walk past with a dog, and Helen's shouting, Pero bonito. <laughs> no, they appreciate they that. It was a little Japanese it dog. Was, one of those little shouting at people. One of these little foxy dogs <sighs> that are Japanese. She'll be shouting at, at blokes in the trunk <laughs> next when they walk past. Bonito speedo. <laughs> <laughs> Just stop it. El hombre. <laughs> As I'm going back up to the room. I've only got to go over here. You've only got to walk across there. Yeah. Good morning. I heard movement. Is that movement I heard? <laughs> Helen's still in bed, but I've got up early to look at this beautiful sunrise. Absolutely stunning. The reflection on the sea. Somebody just going out for a swim, there's people come jogging past. You know, to be honest with you, it's not a touristy place really this, there's not much to do. But we had a lovely day yesterday, so relaxing. And we decided where we're going to go today. We're going to go back up north to the other side of Benidorm and we're going to a place called Altea. I've heard lots of things about it. I just need to wake up because I'm a bit rough. <laughs> it takes me a long time in the morning to wake up. We've just come back to the car uh, to dump as bags, well, just as clothes. We're keeping all those passports and laptop and everything in this. We're not risking that. And the place where we are is really famous for chocolate, apparently. 
and the guy who owns the apartment that we stayed in he said there's a, a lovely place where you can have chocolate for breakfast and being a chocoholic it's got to be done yeah i mean i'm not a chocoholic but when in rome exacto mundo yes so let's head back towards the town and have a chocolatey breakfast it's an underground car park she just said james come and have a look at this it's good it's a car park <laughs> I'll just, I'll give it a miss. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is, it's great. Yeah, it's a car park. It's really long, like, for the whole of the length of this. Yeah, but I'm waiting for my breakfast. Do you know these mountains we go up? Yeah. That, this is what they need. We could do it, <laughs> Do you know so that everyone can enjoy them? Yeah. Not just people that can walk? Yeah. You want to set a business up? Yeah. Mountainescalators.com There's another one, Helen. How lazy are we? What amazing content this is for the new ride in an escalator. It is. I think people need to see it. People needed to see that underground car park. <laughs> but you wouldn't look at it. Was it special? Yeah, it was very special. It was really long. I just found it interesting. Really excited now because I'm a massive chocolate fan and apparently this is famous for its chocolate. So we're gonna have a chocolate breakfast, aren't we darling? Yes. How exciting I'd is like that? I'd like to have a coffee as well. Oh yeah, we, we need some drinks. Yeah. So this is the town and what's it called? Valor. Look at the chocolate you dip in. Can you sit here? Yeah. So check out this breakfast. We have churros, chocolate mix. OMG, look at that. Two Americanos and a ham sandwich with tomato dip. That's really nice, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that were great. That were like four euros, so it weren't bad. Uh, oh God, I'm, I'm sorry, I can't film much longer. I need to get stuck in. <laughs> oh my goodness, do not spill it down your T-shirt. This is where I get it all down my T-shirt, you ready? Mm. Oh my God. That is another level. Uh, I want to try it. No, I'm that gonna be, chocolate is... Is it? I'm going to be sensible. Watch me do it. Don't. Look at that. Mm. How good is that? It's like special chocolate, isn't it? Not how we expected it. This is what they class as hot chocolate. Oh. What you say, Helly Bobs? We totally demolished that, didn't we? We did. All I can say is I'm glad that they don't have these in England. Because <laughs> I'd rather than being 20 stone, I'd be 30. <coughs> You're not 20 stone, are you? No, 25. So, yeah. We need to get on a health kick, aren't we? We do. We're going to get healthy next week. I need to start for a couple of days. Uh, exercising. Yeah, me too. Yeah. So it's goodbye to Via Yahosa. Yayosa. Yayosa. Thank you. Liked it here. Very chilled place. This is our little room in Altea. And it is this place. Casa del Mar Hostel. It says hostel and they're quite, you think of like a, a youth hostel, but they're not. I mean, it's got a private bathroom. So I always check that it's got a bathroom. 
And it's nice, it's lovely and clean. It's it hurts it, it smells nice, and look, it's, it's nice. Decor. It is nice decor, that bed looks lovely. Yeah. We're banging the centre of Altea and it's cost 59 quid. So, I mean, it's not really got a spectacular view. Well, you can see it beach a little bit. <laughs> and, and we're oh, next to my favourite Oh shop. my God, look, Helen. And as we have collected, oh. Ali Hop. Is it Ali Hop? Not Ale Hop. I prefer Ale Hop. But we could call it Ale Hop if you want. Yeah, it's a nice room, this, isn't it? It is, it's lovely. Yeah. That's the hotel with the blue windows just there. And the lady has told us to come out and up this street. And we're going to have a look around Old Town. We're going to do some exploring, aren't we? We're going to do a bit of exploring. I love that colour. Yeah, that's it's beautiful. Gorgeous. Video those flowers for me mum, I'm sure she'd like them. What we were going up left. Yeah. Oh, you need to be fairly mobile to come here, don't you? Yeah. Do you see that lady? The older lady walking down. Oh just really take your time. I don't know if there's another route by the back where you can come by a vehicle because there is cars here, look look at that, look at the colours there yeah. You have just entered Altea's old renaissance quarters that must be through there Altea's bastion the Renaissance area was built, was declared a cultural heritage site in 2013. I'm <laughs> Let's try and find a table. You look. <laughs> There's one over here. There's some in the shade. Oh, you can go in the church. I need to sit down after all them steps. This is nice here. This is the central square in Altea, up near the church. We've got the church here, look. Quite busy, isn't it, up here? Though I bet in the in the middle of summer it could be rammed here. Well, it's busy now, but oh, look at me now, gin and tonic, love. I've got a funny little story to tell you. When I've done that, well, shall we do a cheers, darling? Yes. Salut. Cheers, salut. So let me tell you this funny little story. So we were sat. We were sat outside a bar last night in uh, Valeria Horsa and there was the young the young lad that was serving and what did I have to drink? Was it did I have a gin last night? Yeah, and I had a vodka. No, no I had a rum, I had a rum oh, with coke yeah. and he fetched me a can of coke out and I've got a huge glass like that size with some ice in it and they come out, what they do, I don't know, they've, they've just done it here, they come out with the bottle and he starts pouring the rum in and he's like, tell me when. Like you choose your own measurement, don't you? And I'm like, yeah, just keep Continue. going, mate. <laughs> it will practically, it will like filling. <laughs> That's we, all, we all laughed, didn't we? And much humour, much mirth. Humour ensued. <laughs> yeah, mirth ensued. Okay. Uh, but that, that's why I, I probably had a bit of a sore head this morning. So it was funny. We're going to have a look in the church. It's beautiful, really nice. Looks a bit dark in here though. Wow, look at that. That is stunning.
Wow. So, is that Jesus or is that Jesus? Because who's that? Or is that Joseph and Mary? That's Mary, that's Jesus. Don't know who that is. I Do don't I know, to be fair. I'm very rusty. That might be Joseph. It could be. Because he looks the same age as Mary. Yeah, it's so he's got a staff because he was a shepherd. Yeah. So it probably is Mary and Joseph, yeah. Benny Dome off there. Look at that view, that's spectacular, isn't it? It is, yeah. Very good, where be in? Where be in? He looks interesting down here. That sounds nice in there, isn't it? Crown of India. Fancy a curry. Yeah, oh, there's a pizza place here. Wow, that looks nice in there. Don't say it. <laughs> I'm tempted to have a pizza. That looks beautiful. The problem is we just end up getting set down in places and then we just spend our days instead of travelling around we just sit places, don't we? Eating and drinking. But that's what you want to do. That's what you do when you come on holiday, isn't it? I sort of want to sit there and have a drink. Let's do it. <laughs> We've just had to sit down again for another drink. We've only come a couple hundred because yards. Because we've just seen a beautiful little courtyard. And we sat under an orange tree. Yeah. And just, it's just a beautiful place. It's uh, just um, so pretty and quaint in Spanish. With all these little hidden... Oh, drinks are here. Gracias. Dinner. And nuts. Gracias. Gracias. Yeah, all these hidden little alleyways, and it was the cat actually. It was the cat. There's yeah, a, there's a cat. There. There's a cat there that sort of. Yeah. And we sat underneath an orange tree. If you come to Benidorm, you have to experience this as well. You have to come I'll in. Tell you. I'll tell we you. We went up to the church. It's not hard to find. No, Just it's head that easy. To find. Well, you see church. it as you come into Altair, and there's a bus. I saw a tram track. Yeah, I there's saw, bus, like, I think there's a tram, there's whatever. A there must it, be a tram. It's a short from ride Benidorm. from Benidorm. I and it's love such it. a different atmosphere and culture. Mm. You if can you, have too much Benidorm, too much of a good time, can't we've you? We've been but, looking at photographs of some of the terraces on the roof. So there's restaurants, there's pizza restaurants, there's an Indian restaurant, there's an Italian, all sorts of stuff. And they're on the roofs and the terraces and the views are just out of this world. So I think we might do something like that tonight. Because it's like you don't really get many opportunities to do stuff like that, do you? And I think at night you can see all the street, like the street lights. Yeah. And I bet at night it's just amazing. Yeah, we're going to, I think we'll just... Because there's all lights as well. We'll just stay here all day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy I think with we that. Should. So yeah. we've taken a big gamble. We had a great table and we've given it away. Because I want to go to this pizza place up here. Oh. And I'm concerned that we might not. What we're going to do if we don't get a table? Huh? But it's only early. I know it is, but I wanted one of those nice tables. Which is just here. Oh, yes, I've 
Yes, this one. Yes. It looks beautiful. It does look good. Oh, look, it's it's Barbara, Barbara and Janet. Nope. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, it's very quiet. I hope it's not short. It's probably not open. No, oh, but it's people sat there. So we've come in this place here, right under the church. Look at that. And then over here, you can't really see it because somebody else has got the seat I wanted. <laughs> that's you a, said that, didn't you? That's the mountain. Yeah, when I come to have a look, that yeah. table in the corner was available. I thought that's the way you wanted. But look at, look Yeah, only well, got a mountain down there as well. It's very beautiful. It's nice, isn't it, in here? Yeah. Well, yours looks a bit crap, doesn't it? It's four cheeses. Four cheeses, it wants to be. Yeah. It's for Jesus. Four cheeses. <laughs> four cheeses. That yours looks better. It does. Do you want some of my ham? Right, no. We'll do half you and half. You cut yours yeah. down the middle and I'll cut mine and then we'll We'll do half, half and eat. half. Yeah, okay. Did you enjoy that? Mm. It was nice, wasn't I did. It? it was a pizza. Look at the wonderful church up there. Isn't that beautiful? It is. What are we going to do now, babes? We're going to go for a wander through the little back alleys in the streets. We're going to see what we're going to see. We're going to see what we're going and to we're, see. And it's all going to be so romantic. We're going to have <laughs> hugs and kisses. Oh, get you. I'm going to take you down a little dark alley <laughs> for a snog. You're going to take me down a back alley for us. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, like we're teenagers. So oh. Again. Can we just go to pub? Yeah. I just got to <laughs> That's good pub. <laughs> this is pub camp. Pub camp. Cheers. You were on about pub camp, right? Yeah. Cheers to pub camp. This is such a nice bar. It's absolutely, it's, it's got to be one of my favourite bars. I said that about a lot of pubs, don't I? This is best pub ever. Yeah, it's probably when you're drunk as well, isn't it? No, but it's a lovely bar, isn't it? It is. It's fantastic. Do you know, like, you're one of those, you know, when you get drunk, mm. like, you tell everyone that you live there. I don't just because I'm just full of love. You're always telling me you love me, don't you? <laughs> I don't love everybody. I, what do you mean? You love me? Yeah, I know, I do, but... I love you I'm, too. I'm not on about it that way, but yeah, I do, but I'm on about humanity. Oh, yeah, yeah, I love people. Look, you get... Nice. What's this pub called? The Mascarada. La Mascarada. Mascarada. Yeah, La Mascarada. And it's a bit of a cocktail bar. There's not a massive selection of beers. I've got the old beer with the lemon. Like a shandy. It's, yes, like a shandy. Sacrilege, that, isn't it? It is. Oh. And you've got a Nicole. A Nicole. Yeah, never, I've never had one. It was one. nice. It's very sweet. I like sweet stuff. It is nice. So when you come here, you need to come to this bar as well. Yeah, it's really nice. But it's only very tiny, so... No, so it's fine. Yeah. But it's, it's just, we've just got lucky to get a seat, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. It's getting a bit chilly now, isn't it? Yeah. So we put our jackets on. Now people need to know what it's like in uh, November. Yeah, it does. It does get a bit chilly a bit, in the evening. But I think this is the chilliest it's been. Isn't it? I mean, I could wear a t-shirt, but just... just to be comfortable. Yeah. Mm. That balcony is calling me. <laughs> Why do you want to go and sit up there? I don't, right. I don't want to go up there and it not be as good as right. it. You run up, it. run up, I'll sit here, you run up, just do a recce. And then if you like it, wave and I'll come up and bring the drinks. <laughs> okay, this is what we're going to do. 
So, right, there's a balcony above us. It's currently With vacant. two seats. It does look great. <laughs> but we don't want to lose this seat, because this seat is It's great. nice. Is that seat a bit better? Well, yeah. I don't know. You go find out. I'm going to go and do a recce. <laughs> All right. Go and have a look. Pretend you're going to the toilet. Yeah, okay. 